iMovie vlog last night, and I'm like, wait, I kind of actually really liked that. So, back with another iMovie. I don't know why I'm doing this. Anyways, I've been making the best breakfast lately, so it's only fair for me to share. First of all, look how perfect. Okay, besides this little... Let me just... Okay, besides that, perfect omelet. Three ingredients, eggs, spinach, sun-dried tomatoes. I put a lot of seasoning in the eggs because it would be very bland without that. Mmm. Again okay, with the mukbang, like, I'm so sorry. Delicious, okay. Three eggs. I season it with adobo onion powder and pepper okay so i whisk the eggs like that then i dump a bunch of sun-dried tomatoes in probably like i don't know just a, a handful like a good like you know then spinach enough to where like the whole bowl is filled with spinach and then i just dump it okay now best coffee recipe let me tell you so fucking good i only discovered it this week so it's like still fresh and delicious recipe cold brew this week i have the starbucks cold brew but it's not my favorite it was just on sale i prefer the la cologne medium roast sweetened if i can't get sweetened i just put my own sugar in it but it's nice if it's already sweetened and then oat nog i think it's by the brand chobani chobani oat nog like oat milk eggnog i think that's what it is oh my god delicious 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 oh okay i'm just gonna let him like do his thing. Oh no. Let's give him privacy, guys. Oh, he's not. He's just looking at his foot. Oh my god, he loves to chew his foot. His foot is like his bone. And I give him bones. Like, it's not like a neglect thing. He just loves his foot. Hey, Papa John's Hall. Actually, I forgot that like they were low-key problematic. Damn, um, I don't support anything that Papa did or said. I just was honestly bamboozled. Uh, we have a little visitor. Do you have something you want to add about the Papa John's? He doesn't approve either. But I did, however, approve of their Twix Papa somethings. Destroyed those. The party is not over yet because garlic knots i didn't even really want garlic knots i just wanted the twix things i don't honestly know how i was tricked into getting mm, they look kind of fire though how do people do mukbangs like i feel like i'm chewing for hours and it's also kind of gross to see me chewing like i hate chewing chewing is like my pet peeve i have to tell you something that happened to me this morning so i'm walking the dog this morning i forgot I don't know. I don't even want to tell the story. Honestly, fuck that. I'm so serious. I'm not going to tell it. Why would I retell it? I've been retelling it all day and it just made me more upset. So now you know something. I was attacked. <laughs> An angry man yelled at me this morning, okay? That's all you need to know. And I am very sensitive to being yelled at. In those situations, I like freeze. I'm responding, but I'm not in control of like my body. Like I feel like... It's like an out-of-body experience. Probably unhealthy. Probably means something concerning, but I was mad because I was like, why am I ruining my own day with this angry man? Whatever. Like, hurry up, I'm talking about it still. You know what I'm saying? Here, I'll give you some sauce too. Here you go. Kinda looks like
my laptop to Central Park and I perched myself on this rock. I'm also shooting film. Oh my God, I'll take a picture of this. How about that? Some guy's playing an instrument down there. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's probably adding to the ambiance. I had the thought the other day, right? I don't even know how I like could trace this train of thought backwards. I created this metaphor that being in your early 20s, specifically like very early 20s, is like being in middle school. Let me explain. So when you go into middle school, your age like 10, 11, 12, 13, middle school is the mark of the beginning of your teenagerhood. So I was reflecting on the way that I feel now, which is I'm old enough to be an adult and I'm old enough to live on my own and do all kinds of adult things, but I also don't have all of the resources that a fully functional independent adult would have because I just started. And I put a lot of pressure on myself sometimes to be at a level that would be more fitting for a 25, 26 year old. And I'm feeling like I'm behind and not doing enough. But really, from the scale of like adulthood to teenagerhood, at this point, I am at the same stage as I was when I was 11, 12, 13. You're pretty much a teenager. You have all of the physical qualities, social aspects of being a teenager, but you're still missing key ingredients to the full realm of teenagerhood. It's not a part of the journey that can be disregarded, it's just the beginning. So when you're 11, 12, 13, you're kind of role-playing teenagerhood. You can't drive. You can't work. Is this making sense? Put that same scale 10 years forward, I'm now 21. I'm basically at the same place as I was in terms of adulthood when I was 11 in terms of teenagerhood. When I was 11, I hadn't reached the full potential of anything that I was going to accomplish as a teenager or experience or feel or be or grow into. And so it helps me remind myself not to put so much pressure on myself that I have to have the full essence of my 20s in this very moment at 21 because I'm only 11. <laughs> yeah, that's just what I've been thinking about recently. I don't know. This is the view. Cool. Bye.